Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. This is a production of YouTube channel Learnorama and the Facebook page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Dev. In this tutorial, we are actually learning as to how uh, we are learning how to delete data from a file. And this is uh, a part two of this uh, of this tutorial. If you haven't watched the part one, I would recommend that you do so. Um, and we are actually in the middle of implementing an algorithm that we learned uh, in 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 the tutorials before that. So, <coughs> so be sure that you watch all these tutorials before you watch this one. Um, so let's uh, let's continue. So we were saying that uh, we just actually we were saying that we need an, an a pointer. Uh, character pointer here to be initialized to the beginning of the buffer and this pointer we will keep on moving as we read from the file so uh, as we read the first line we will basically move this pointer to the to the end of the, and we put it in the buffer we will basically have to move the pointer to uh, let's see to the end of this for example this is the first line Larry and then we will have to in the beginning it's gonna be pointing right here and once we read the first uh, let me bring my pen here um it will be pointing here and then after putting larry in here we will have to make it point here and then after putting frank in here we will have to make it point here so so we will have to do do that as we read the lines from it so and we already wrote this f get s function call to read one line at a time okay so now we have to manipulate the buffer here so as we you know as we go on so after reading the line we said that every time when we will be reading the line we will have to see we will have to do we will have to do one thing what do we have to do we have to we have to check to see if the line that we just read is the same as the name joe because joe you know we want to uh, we don't want to write it into the buffer if it is joe if it is not joe then we have to write it into the buffer so how do we do that so after executing this after this function called f get s line string this line is string in this variable in this array the whatever the line that it read from this file it will be stored there okay so what we have to do right now here is to check to see uh, we have to make a comparison we have to make a decision so when we have to make a decision what do we have to do we have to use if statement right so what we do need to do next is that we have to say if line if somehow we have to say if line is equal to Joe right if line is equal to Joe let's just I mean this is not C language it's just English language here so but that's okay let's leave it like this for now we will worry about how to do that a little later okay if line is equal to Joe then we have to skip okay if line is not equal to Joe then we have to put it in the buffer so let's uh, let's check for line is not equal to Joe okay if line is not equal to Joe what do we have to do we have to put line in buffer right and how do we do that we sorry what do we how do we do that put line in buffer how do we do that it's very simple there is a function call a string copy str cpy okay so okay technically <coughs> in theory I mean you would you might think that you should you could do buffer is equal to line okay but this doesn't work with C um, in C you cannot copy arrays like this buffer and line they are both a kind of array buffer is pointing to the array and line is the array itself because buffer is pointing to the array of characters actually kind of because malloc is just the same as it as if it turned an a big array of char characters so <clears throat> you would think that you could do buffer equal to line but you know c is not that simple long time back i mentioned that if you since line is also a string and buffer is also a string in order to <clears throat> in order to copy a string into another string you have to use a function call okay and that function call is str copy All right so a string copy is that function call and and what we need to do is uh, is you need to it takes uh, it takes two parameters one is the destination string 
and the second is the source string so source string is the is the string that we have to copy over to the destination string okay so in this particular example we have to copy line over to <coughs> buffer right so this str cpy it's for a string str is for a string and cpy is for copy so a string copy str cpy it will copy line the contents of line into buffer okay but there is something wrong here what is wrong we said that we have to copy the line to wherever the pointer ptr is pointing to so in the beginning it will be pointing to the, the beginning of the buffer but then as we keep processing the file it will keep on moving so we have we don't have to copy it where buffer is pointing to which will stay at the beginning buffer pointer this pointer will always remain in the beginning throughout the program okay we don't want to copy line in the beginning if we keep on every time when we read a line we copy it at the beginning it's it's going to keep on overwriting whatever we wrote before so we don't want to do that we want to copy it where the ptr pointer is actually pointing to right so instead of using the buffer we want to use ptr so this way we will put the pointer the line wherever the pointer is pointing to that's where the line is going to go now <clears throat> after the, we do that what what else we have to do we have to move this pointer if the pointer was pointing here and we put the frank the name frank here this is string frank here at that point the pointer ptr is not going to move by itself we will have to move pointer ahead so how many bytes do we have to move 2 3 4 5 5 actually the same number of bytes as the string line so line has frank then we have to move it for as ma as many bytes as there are in the string frank and then it we will be writing kelly then we have to move as many bytes as there are in the string kelly so how do we do that it's very simple we say ptr is equal to so we have to add on to ptr we have to add we have to increment it to move it in order to move it we have to increment it how many bytes as many bytes as many characters as there are in the in line and how do you find out how many characters are there in a string there is a function called str len which is a string length it's like the length of the string so whatever the length of line is that we just read if it is frank then it is f r a n k and then backslash n remember f get s also reads new line characters okay so so we don't have to worry worry about it the current whatever the length is including backslash n we have to increment the ptr by that much and then store the same value on to ptr right so that way ptr will move otherwise ptr is not going to move if you just do this this will just add and then throw away that value we have to whatever the result is we have to put it back into ptr and remember whenever it is like some variable equal to some variable plus something you don't have to write it this way you can write it like this ptr plus equal to str len of line it's the same thing it's the same thing as writing ptr is equal to ptr plus str length of line so string length is the function str length it, that's a function you pass the string it will give you the length of that string okay so very simple so do we have to do anything else oops do we have to do anything else well look at this we read the line we copy the line into wherever the pointer is pointing to and then we increment but before that we need to check to see to make sure that the line is not equal to joe because we don't want to copy joe into the into the buffer right so i'm going to stop here and this uh, tutorial is going to continue in the next video so keep watching and don't forget to rate the video thank you so much bye bye